a year ago, you made a winter seasonal outlook forecast, right. and it was very good because <laughs> you were right on. You predicted a little below average snowfall, right. which is in fact what happened last winter. So you've looked at a lot of parameters, a lot of elements, and, uh, and you've got the outlook for 2019 and 2020. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, you're trying to forecast if we're going to get big storms, small storms, a lot of things go into this. And right. it's far from perfect, as Absolutely. you know. So you just look at trends and stuff like that. So that's, that's what we've done. We really like to give people an idea of what may or, or may not happen or what to expect. So uh, without waiting any further, let's get right to it, the winter outlook. Well, when trying to figure out the weather for an entire season, we try to look for signals. One of the major signals is the El Nino setup. Remember last year off the coast of South America, it was warmer than normal ocean temperatures. But this year, not warmer, not colder, but neutral. And an El Nino neutral pattern usually means mild weather across most of the United States. Now, there could be some colder shots from time to time, but nothing that would put us below normal temperature wise. So with El Nino kind of neutral, we look to other things like the North American Oscillation, a low pressure center here over Greenland, high to the south, making a strong jet stream over the North Atlantic. This means very mild for Europe. And this type of setup, the North American positive pattern, also means an indication of a milder pattern for us. So another signal that it could be a milder winter than normal. But there are things that would lean us the other way. The Arctic sea ice extent causes buckles in the jet stream, sudden stratospheric warming episodes also causes the polar vortex to visit us on occasion. So with those factors, it looks like it may negate that above normal trend that we see in the other areas. So I'm going for near normal temperatures in the capital region. How about snowfall? That's the one that everybody wants to hear about, right? Well, it looks like coastal storms will be a little bit below normal, not with this type of pattern. It looks like we'll have more in the way of Alberta Clipper. So with those passing by, the Great Lakes or lake effect areas will probably wind up getting hit hard and some more snow to our north. But I think we're going to wind up with near normal snowfall for the season. So with the average at 60 this year, I think right around 60 should do it for our snowfall. And with the North American oscillation factoring in, but also those minor episodes of stratospheric warming. I think we're going to have cold snaps, but it does look like we're going to wind up leveling off the temperatures right around seasonal averages once again. We'll see how it all works out. Well, a seasonal forecast, as you know, in the climate is there's a lot of elements that go into it, as Paul just explained, right. but it's a strongly educated estimation of what we expect meteorologically and what will happen. So it's, uh, it's fascinating to look at all these parts and how they may or may not come together. Yeah, and, and a couple of the bigger signals that last a long time, like the El Nino or La Nina, are neutral. So it's kind of like they're saying, okay, we're not going to give you that hint this year. So yeah. you have to look at the <laughs> lesser effects to decide. And those are more short-term, like a month or two of cold or, mm -hmm. or even weeks at a time and, or a week or two that would be snowy. But I think when it all averages out, we're going to have a winter around here that's going to be what you might expect, 60 inches of snow and, and cold, but not brutally so. We'll see you in the spring. Thank you.